Hello, it's Amy with Mama Bear Blue. This is a previously recorded live that I did with my sisters making some creepy candle holders with decoupage. Hey. Okay, so I, I have glass candle holders that we I always pick up at Goodwill and put aside because I love using decoupage paper on them. But we have some downloads from Etsy of some really creepy Victorian women. These are all women. And I have Edgar Allan Poe. Also made some copies of some of our own people, family photos. <laughs> and we're going to take these little glass um, candle holders and decoupage our family members onto them, but we're going to kind of cut their eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> when you do that, um, and then you put a candle in, which I always suggest well, using. You can try to use a battery one, but I did not have any, so I did light a real candle. And anyway, I'm going to give you a close-up of the one I did last night, just to give you an idea of kind of what we're heading for. But when we get... <laughs> So <laughs> when we get those eyes cut out okay uh, so you can imagine the lights are really bright in here right now but when this is the lights are turned out and all you have is your little candle glowing all you see is, is the candle light coming out right okay out. laura's doing this lady we don't know who she is but she's got really big eyes so we knew she'd work great for this one <laughs> i'm sorry if that's your relative <laughs> but we we bought her off etsy so <laughs> we bought her download off etsy and then this is actually our own people. We love Grandmom, but this was Grandmom and her sister. They're really cute, but they're going to make some creepy kids on a candle. So you've got your pictures cut out. Mm -hmm. What you want to do, guys, is just cut your picture that it needs to fit, you know, the length of your candle holder. It doesn't have to fit widthwise, but you want it to be able to fit on front. We're going to decoupage it on, and then if you want to add another picture on the other side, you could definitely do that. But what we're going to do with the rest of that glass space is actually either paint it black or put some dark and decrepit liquid patina on it, which I did with the one last night. The way dark and decrepit looks on glass, it looks super aged and old and just creepy. Okay, so the girls have cut theirs to fit already on their little candle holders. Again, I got all these glass things, and these are some pretty thick, heavy-duty glass at... Um, Goodwill. And then mom got me this great X-Acto knife kit. I think mom got it on Amazon. Did you mom? If you did, I can put my Amazon affiliate link in the description box when we're done. But this has been great for really fine detail cutting to get the eyes cut out. When you're cutting out the eyes, try to cut. It's already creeping me out. It's pretty great. <laughs> you want to cut more than just the eyeball. You actually cut the whole socket. Ew. <laughs> Because you'll need as much light coming through there to make it more creepy. So good. Okay. So good. We'll get to the happy Halloween stuff soon. It'll be all right. Mm -hmm. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Um, I also have a, a sheet of Edgar Allan Poe stuff that I printed out when we were doing another um, another craft with Mom. So we may we might get to some with Edgar on it because I don't know. He's like the classic. Mm -hmm. He's classic, like Halloween yes. guy. Yes. You. Yes. <laughs> yeah. see it, yeah. Carol. She's got one eye done. So that little exacto knife <laughs> works really well for getting in there. Just and afterwards in the um, description box, the comments, I will put the links to these Etsy shops that I download. I purchased and downloaded these. They're only a few dollars each, and then the download is yours to keep. The only thing they don't want you to do is to resell them, you know, as images like they're doing. But if you want to incorporate them into your crafts and stuff. She looks a little angry. I don't know. <laughs> oh, Laura, this is a good time to talk about. We So oh, yes. we were wondering why old-timey photos mm -hmm. and Victorian ladies, they never smile. Everyone looks like they were having a real bad day <laughs> yeah. on all their photos, but there is a reason. Yeah, we looked it up, and it was... Um, you can read it. You need to read it. You can. It, it was in bad taste, essentially, to have a big smile, big toothy grin, because that was associated with being drunk or insane. <laughs> so they tried not to do any of that. Yeah, because nobody wanted to be. Nobody of wanted that. to be labeled those. So things. you had to look like you were very upset, really upset, and sad, <laughs> and constipated, like it was very and sad life. <laughs> Do I put this on and then stick it? On yeah, so just... you're, you're rolling right along. Yeah, so the, the first step would be to take the DIY liquid patina, which is a great decoupage medium, and you're going to put it right where you want your picture to go. If you go over a little bit, it's not a big deal, okay. like if you get some extra on the sides. And you want enough that it's going to stick, but not where it's super gloppy. So that's what Jen's doing now. And then she will put that on there and smooth it out 
get as many wrinkles out as you can and dry overnight any any wrinkles will probably lay down so but just smooth them out best you can and if you see you've missed some edges like you need to get back in there with the brush if there's some you missed yeah you can do that and then I try to wipe where the eyes are I try to wipe that off so it's okay. a little more clear you could even use we don't have q-tips but it's okay you know that is really great oh I love Goodness. it I love it okay I'm gonna use the exacto knife to get this one out and then get the eyes done and then you're going to put a coat of decoupage on t of the I medium on top. I was wondering if that was next. Yeah, it's the, it's the seal coat. Because so this, it wouldn't be a good idea to like pour a candle in there. Recommends just oh. using a battery operated candle because the dark. I think it's it. just probably a safety thing. I don't know. And maybe it has something to do with it heating up and the it not it holding. Um, uh, do I wipe off the excess around here? So um, you you're going to be painting over it, so I wouldn't matter. worry about it. You, okay. can, you can, but I think you're going to want to paint it the black. Longer, or, the longer it sits, the more wrinkly it yeah, is. Yeah, and that that does happen. But and you don't want to. You want to be real careful because this will start to get square. It'll want to tear. Yeah, I know. But as that dries, it sh it should lay down pretty flat. Okay. I mean, it may not be one hundred. They look like they perfect. have glasses on. <laughs> They do, From the wrinkles. which looks kind of cool, but I, th I really do think those, okay. and if you want to try to speed that process up, you could use a heat gun on it. Okay. Um, but the more you touch it like that, the more it's going to get wrinkly. <laughs> <laughs> so quit touching quit it. Quit touching that. Okay, quit touching it. Is that enough? Is that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're good. Let's squeeze right. that bubble out. Is that a bubble? Or All is that right. on the paper? That's on the paper. It's a picture, isn't it? No, that's a bubble. That's a bubble? That's a bubble. Yeah. Okay. okay. So I've got mine on there. So how about you guys? Do you guys like creepy, creepy or do you go cute and fun? I definitely don't go creepy. I know. I know. <laughs> Laura Not likes that you it. Are Laura's off, okay, so off she the pretty rails much, creepy. She wants to keep it up year-round. It's round. saying it up year-round. <laughs> Wait, there. Sometimes okay. when you have a little tear, if you go back in with a little, it kind of yeah, can re-glue it. Yeah, I just tapped it yeah. and it went. So now we just want the rest of our glass to be covered up with either paint or dark and decrepit liquid patina. I think I'm going to go with dark and decrepit again. If you guys want to use black paint, you can. I think I, I like it. dark and decrepit? Yeah. There it is, Jen. Okay. So um, the dark and decrepit is just a liquid patina that adds um, some darkness to your projects and gives it some age. So we're just uh, going to take it and brush it on and... It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going for a creepy, aged, decrepit look. Do you look. go right over the picture? Yeah, you can even get up on the edges of your picture. That's fine. This is basically a top coat that's been tinted. So it's kind of like, it's almost just like a, a liquid patina that has a dark... You can either just brush it on, or you can brush on one coat, and then if you do another coat, kind of give, give it some texture like this, guys. Oh, cool. You know, pounce and give it a little bit of texture. But I think it's nice to get those edges covered up so it looks more incorporated into the candle holder, if that makes sense, you know? Yeah. And if you want just a sheer layer, just go with one coat. If you want to get it a little more dark, just dry this. Should we dry wait until it dries? You can, go, do, you can it. do the heat gun. Because I feel like it's just yeah. wiping it back Yeah, off. yeah, it will. So you want to dry in between coats, whether that's giving it time to air dry Should or... Should I go over the whole picture or just the... No, not the whole picture because you'll... You won't see it You then. won't, yeah. Because then when the candle's on it, you won't mm -hmm. really make out the faces too well, you know? Right. Okay. Um, if you are new here, I call, my name's Amy with Mama Bear Blue, and I am a stockist for a lot of different DIY companies. DIY Paint, Iron Orchid Designs, JRV Stencils, Roy Cycle Papers, JRV Papers, Paint Pixie Brushes, just a lot of fun crafty things. <laughs> uh, what are you going to be for Halloween, Jim? I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to be on the beach. Oh, you going to be here for Halloween? I think I come back. Halloween, so yeah. so you can still dress up. Mm, what are you gonna be? <laughs> I haven't decided yet. Still up in the air. A creepy Victorian lady. Ew. I probably should. Just don't <laughs> smile. Your face will crack. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> they are. It is so weird. Those are so weird. <laughs> I love it. But, um, I love it. Oh, I so when you're putting your battery-operated candle in these, <laughs> you want to raise it up a little bit so that the top of the candle is like close to the level of the eyes. So that way, the like candle the flame will be kind of even to those eyes, and that gives the creepiest, the creepiest look. Yep. So, okay. so what uh, are you, what are you doing next, Laura? I'm gonna do. I'm going to try and do something similar, but with this. 
You got that at Goodwill. I got it at Goodwill. It's really cool. I'm going to give them a close up. It's like okay. an old, it's not a kind that burns oil, but you would put a candle in, just yeah. a candle holder. But because this is curved, she's going to choose one that's a little smaller. Because if yeah. you try to decoupage a big sheet of decoupage paper on this, it's going to have a lot of wrinkles and folds. So if yeah. you, you definitely can decoupage on it, but you need a smaller image. And she thinks she's doing a skull. Yeah. So I have this tall one too. Again, all from Goodwill. Then awesome. But these fun, um, pretty fall colored monarchs are on this masterboard sheet um, by Roy Cycled. And she told me, um, she popped in on one of my comments once and told me that the reason she added these is because the monarchs migrate in the fall. So she thought that would be a good to put on a fall sheet. On this. I've cut it to fit this candle holder and I didn't quite have enough. So this back is open. So I cut just enough out of some scrap from the same paper to fit that open spot in back. So that took just a little bit of kind of measuring around and then cutting. So I'm going to get started on the decoupage for that. When I'm doing a round, a really round kind of tube shaped surface, I just work a little bit at a time. You don't want to like put a patina all over the whole thing and then try to slap that on there. You want to work just a little bit, a few inches at a time with the liquid patina. So I don't understand. Are you not going to cut yours out? Are you no, I, I am doing the whole sheet on these, oh, okay. which you could have done too. It's all right. I was going to do something else. Okay. But I don't know if it's going to be. Are you doing, <laughs> it might look really funky. Are you putting dark and decrepit in between the spots? Or I don't are you know. just. Okay. Really? Sometimes you don't know ahead of time. You got to wait and see how it looks. That's the majority of the time when I make anything, it's like that. So just make sure you line it up straight. And so I've done about an inch or two of the patina, smoothing it down. And then and keep going with it. I like I would miss a little patina on that spot. So if you if you are kind of lift it up and go back in. Um, so what were you going to tell us about exacto cutting or something? Oh, cutting. fussy cutting. Fussy <laughs> cutting. Yeah, fussy cutting is just when you um, have an image with a lot of like detail on the outside, and you have to really just. You're, what you're doing now. Like now, this what is you're what doing. it is. Okay. You're getting all the background off and you're leaving just the image. And so it just, you know, it was all the cutting we hated doing when we were, Ugh. like you said, when we were um, getting our art scars. <laughs> <laughs> they were talking about art scars earlier. Just It's a real thing. When you, you know, as a kid, you had an art teacher maybe who wasn't really kind. <laughs> or wasn't artsy. And <laughs> or wasn't was artsy. Perfect. Or thought that her art was the only art, you know. Yeah. There's only one kind of art. There's only there. one. And it did it's, not include beaver teeth. Uh, well, beaver teeth. <laughs> when you cut. I think you need to explain what that is. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, when you cut, you can't have jagged edges. Right. So Anybody when you had those choppy jagged edges. Elementary school would know what it looked like about. beaver yeah. teeth. Uh, uh, yeah. No beaver teeth allowed. So I have the butterfly section on there. I just don't want a bunch to tuck over, you know, because then when, this, when the candle shows through, you're going to see a bunch of dark at the top, like it's folded in. Can you picture that? Am I talking to myself? No. <laughs> We're listening. To I think word. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> I am. I'm trying to what? cut I'm trying to fussy cut here. I'm Leave me alone. Cutting. It's very difficult. You can't talk and craft at the same time. I can't, no. I can't talk and fussy See, it's cut. not easy. Monarchs are done. I'm going to smooth that out. Be Two real. down, like three to go. You're just going to do a little collage on there? Yeah. Okay. It's not my norm. Stepping out of your comfort zone. I am. Oh, you should be good. You should be good. Very it's good to try new things. You may end up really, really liking. I mean, I may, that. and I may hate it, but you might. <laughs> but okay, I can this try. is a little bit too much overlap, so I'm going to trim that. Man, are you struggling? <gasps> what all what are you cut, cutting out? Oh, of? Oh, fussy cuts. Fussy cutting the crow. Like. Maybe you should have used the scissors to fussy cut him instead of the exacto knife. But you, but you said what. Well, Laura, your cutting really cut sucks. Edge. You do, but stop. Oh, stars. <laughs> so many. There's going to be a fight. Um, <laughs> use these oh, the little things. Tinies. Of course, well, I got. I feel like I already kind of did. I already kind of did. The, okay. I mean, it, it, it'll work. It'll be fine. Maybe you can just it really is fine. Decoupage mm, his uh -huh. legs on separately. Decoupage his legs. <laughs> Retrofit his legs. <laughs> uh, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> 
So there's the Monarchs, and then on the back to fill up that piece, I just put some extra with some script. But it'll probably be turned this way most of the time anyway. But that's a pretty fall decoration too that you can put out with your orange pumpkins or I kind of wanted to use one of these square ones for my last one. So I got them cut out. Now I'm going to do this. Or I could just do a whole Edgar Allan Poe one. Yeah, uh, it's, it's happening. Okay. <laughs> one time when I went to Jacksonville, Florida, they have a restaurant. Called Edgar Allan Poe restaurant. They have great burgers. Ooh, what was that? You guys that? would love this restaurant because you go into the bathrooms and it's red light and the ravens <laughs> being said over the loudspeaker. Is there really? And it's really cool. What made someone that. want to make a burger joint? I have in no that idea. Theme. And I didn't even know it wasn't. But yeah, it's a neat restaurant. You guys would really like That's it. That's an awesome theme. My kids thought that. the bathrooms were a little creepy. Like you could really I feel like my butterflies yourself. are going to yeah. be a lot prettier than their creepy ones. They probably are going to be prettier, but that's not the point. Yeah. Um, so on this Edgar Allan Poe sheet, there's got a portrait of him and then like a book cover. That would be cool. Oh, the heart for Telltale Heart, right? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Maybe the Telltale Heart, that's what was on in the Ooh, that's so good. The Raven is different than Telltale. They're two mm -hmm. separate poems. So. Yeah. We have right. a coffee table book of him, and I need to get it out because I usually set it out in October. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to come read some stories? Yeah, are you, yeah. What am I going to do about all the extra stuff on my glass, though? Well, that's why I wondered if you were... It's going to show. It's going to look cloudy. That's why I wondered if you were going to take some dark and decrepit or something and... Put over Why it? don't you just finish it and see if how you like it? And then see. Even dry it and see what the dried patina. I think it'll look cloudy, but maybe that won't look... Maybe it won't be weird. I'm wondering... Hold on, something's coming to me. <laughs> oh, downloading. It is downloading. Oh, like chill, doing chill the out. circle where it's, it's downloading. I'm wondering if you did all that and dried it, and if it was a little cloudy, then you used more crystalline things. More patina with sparkly. <gasps> I was thinking sparkles too. Yeah. So I have the um, pig, the powders. Yeah, you guys the are mica gonna, powders right gonna wish me. you didn't do creepy now. And you might be able to sprinkle mica powder on it and it wouldn't just look cloudy, it would just look sparkly. Okay. But I don't know. It might be an experiment. Oh, I'm really bad about those. Yeah. You're not <laughs> it's not your style. I really like to know exactly what's gonna happen. Not experiment. <laughs> oh maybe. Can you guys see it? It's gonna be better when we light these up in the dark. Side, Edgar. And his book cover. Oh, I'll, that's going to be good. I'll do a close-up in a second. Yeah, we definitely need uh, the raven, though. And the other. And then just sprinkle this? I think, or what I do think you so, do? yeah. Just, just a little bit of that on there and see what you think. It's not really that cloudy, but... but I think it would be prettier with some sparkle. Okay, yeah. Give it a try. Okay. you like it? You don't know? I don't know. I think the sparkle kind of doesn't make it look as folly. Oh, mm -hmm. well. But that's could okay. Be, could be spring, a spring <laughs> candle instead. <laughs> it looks like, it, or winter. A winter, or winter, yes, winter butterflies. A winter butterflies. butterflies. <laughs> because, you know, those. Because they're those all are... over here in winter. <laughs> 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 There's nothing here in winter. <laughs> I don't want to be Squirrels. here in winter, so. <laughs> it's Squirrels fine. who eat the wiring in your vehicle. <laughs> oh. I thought about that. Problem, guys. I thought about that when I parked my car outside your house mm -hmm. today. Yeah, they know. They're waiting. They're watching. They're going to hop oh, in. That is. I'm going to. Get, we I'm have a squirrel nice. problem. <laughs> okay. Nevermore. You have to have that word on there. Oh, that's so good. Yes. That's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> Saith the raven, nevermore. Do, what, how's that I can never I under. Remember? I I just can't. I would I would rely <laughs> on my twelfth grade English teacher. Uh, They'd have to interpret. Because you didn't get it. I'm like, well, Shakespeare is hard. Shakespeare is hard. Uh, but, but Edgar Allan Poe, you couldn't? I mean, probably because I hated scary. Though. Yeah, yeah. That's mm. They made us go and watch it at Telltale Heart. We had to go see in the theater. <laughs> Did that you was cry? Fun. No, but I, it wasn't like my most enjoyable. <laughs> so when are we going to be able to work out another one? Is there really going to be another year? No. <laughs> Surely not. No. Oh. Okay. I don't know when. We can do a Christmas a one. A happy Christmas one. Yeah, we'll do. We creepy will. Christmas. <laughs> nope. Creepy Christmas. Who votes for creepy? I am Christmas. not in the creepy Christmas. <laughs> oh boy. What was that creepy Christmas movie? Nightmare Before Christmas. That, but no. It Scrooge? it was the guy. What's that? 
It was it's a German Spanish. legend about the thing that starts with the K. It's a uh, Krampus. Yes. Oh, Krampus. I have never even heard of us. <laughs> No, I'm absolutely down for that. Yes. That's a, that when kids are, the parents would tell the kids, if you're bad, Krampus is going to come eat you. Yeah, that's what horrible. What the heck? I have it's, never it's heard of that. to keep kids in line. Well, fear-based yeah. parenting. Fear-based parenting. <laughs> that does not At work. That's fine. That doesn't work well. <laughs> okay. That's I think I'll Krampus. stop in there. It's a Krampus Christmas. <laughs> it's a Krampus Christmas. Where did you hear about that? It's for real. Like, I mean, like, yeah, it's, it's time for it's a Christmas. It's Christmas. not like we grew up watching things like that. So, like, where, where was? I watched that last year. I'm like, this is awful. <laughs> this is so awful. Okay. Oh. So there is the raven on that side. Yeah, this is cool. I'm gonna probably like do that. one. I'm gonna dry that. Do one more dark and decrepit layer to get that little more darkened up. This is a little light. But when these have candles in them. It's going to be good. And if you want to shop my website, it's mamabearblue.com. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.